Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. I'm back with another review. It seems that you guys finding my reviews helpful. So I thought of doing some more reviews for you guys. And today I'm going to talk about this new launch from Chambord, which is their Extreme Wear Transfer Proof Liquid Lipsticks. If you are a beauty junkie, you know that matte liquid lipsticks are thing these days. Everybody is after them. So yes, if you want to know my thoughts on this one, thank you. So I bought two shades from them. One is 482 and the other one is 405. They come in this cardboard packaging uh, where you will find all the ingredients list, price, manufacture date, everything here. If you want closer pictures of this one, just check out my blog. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box. So these liquid lipstick come in like 18 different shades. Like they have got a couple of pinks, a peach and one or two orange shades. and rest of the 18 are like dark browns and reds and like really maroon plumbing maroons um i really wish they would have experimented a bit more with the shade range because they've got 18 shade range 18 um shades and a lot of them like more than uh, 10 fall in browns and reds so I feel like they should have experimented with some really light pinks and light browns and some berry tones I haven't seen any berry tones because berry tones are like the university flattering tones they suit for almost all skin tones so they should have experimented with that I'm quite disappointed with the shade range and coming to the packaging this one comes in this transparent tube guys with a black twist of cap like Totally love the packaging, really classy and elegant. Um, they've got shade name, shade number written on the bottom. Uh, I wish they would have got the shade names, but yes, um, when you open the tube, so this is the one, guys. Nothing fancy, like it got straight applicator, nothing fancy, and even the wand is like a pretty good size, it's not too long and not too short. And if you observe the neck of the bottle, it got a stopper there kind of helps not to take a lot of amount of lipstick at a time as i've mentioned before i've got two shades from them 482 and 405 coming to this one 482 this is like a really dark brown lipstick guys uh, with a little hint of pink in it it's kind of a kylie jenner shade um it looks really good on medium to darker skin tones but if you're like extremely darker skin tone this might not be for you when i say it's a dark brown lipstick you might think this is going to be like perfect new for you no guys this is like a true brown with a little hint of pink so it is going to look obvious it, it, it is not going to make as a um, uh, my lips but better kind of shade this is not one of those and the next shade is this 405 this is like a really deep dark mauve shade this is what i've got on my lips today and the interesting thing is this one got like teeny tiny shimmer in it i really really don't know till the moment guys i've just kept this lipstick on my table here where a bit of sunlight hits and when i'm taking this up to show you guys i've observed that this one got shimmer in it and when i observe my lips closely i've realized like yes this one got shimmer but it is not not really visible if you see in a normal light or if you see a person face to face wearing this one you you'll you'll, you'll not see any shimmer I'm not really a big fan of this shade though but the reason I've bought this lipstick is I do not have anything similar to this one and I really wanted to experiment with my ombre lips so yeah I bought this one you'll get a really really beautiful ombre lips mixing mixing this one with some other light peach lipstick or anything like light brown or something so you get you can do a lot of ombre looks using this one so that's the reason i bought this coming to the texture of this one guys these are the best matte liquid lipsticks i've tried till date i've tried and very soft matte lip creams i tried color bar ones they've got like deep matte lip creams and kiss proof stains or something i've tried those two i've tried miss claire ones i've tried um maybelline one i've tried mac one i've tried gerard cosmetics among all these ones, these are the best guys. These stand out to me a lot. They apply really smooth guys. You don't have to stretch your lips at all. And these are like really, really pigmented. You don't have to dip your applicator back into the tube. Um, you can just uh, finish your whole lips with one in one single go. And it kind of takes a good couple of minutes to completely settle down into your matte finish guys. In that two minutes, do not press your lips together like don't do that that's not a good feeling not only with this liquid lipstick you, you, you if you're using any other matte liquid lipstick 
do not press your lips together right after you apply the lipstick just give it a couple of minutes to set it down and then you can do that let's see how difficult this is to remove i'm just going to dip a cotton pad in my bioderma This one easily comes off with a bioderma. But it kind of stained my lips a little bit. Maybe with an oil based remover, you can effectively take this one off, like without any traces. I'm really, really sorry, guys. It's 5 30 in the evening and sun is coming down right in front of my window. I couldn't see anything, so I have to close my window and um, get my artificial lighting. I'm really, really sorry if this is quite disturbing for you. So, coming back to the review, these liquid lipsticks are like really, really long lasting. Once they're set, they're not going to move anywhere they're not going to budge um, and the one thing i really really like about these liquid lipsticks is um even after eating a full meal these are not going to disappear straight away uh, you might feed or you might see a little bit of fading in the center of your lips um if you are eating anything oily otherwise it is not going to move and um, the one thing i really like about this one is even after a long day even after a full meal they do not crumble which is like really really hard to find in a liquid lipsticks especially matte ones i'm totally in love with these lipsticks um these are like pretty long lasting guys it lasted on me for like good seven hours with a full meal and a lot of snacking in between so it's really a huge thing for me and the best part about these liquid lipsticks is they don't fade straight away they're like transfer proof um, they're smudge proof and um they don't bleed right after the application and also they're pretty long lasting and the one thing i don't like about this is um they kind of emphasize the lines on your lips if you got like million lines it is going to show all the million lines and other thing is um, this one got a bit of a mild fruity scent to it but it kind of disappears the moment you apply it so it's not going to be a big deal i'm not pretty sure whether i mentioned the price or not guys but um, i'm going to tell it again it, it, this one costs around 845 rupees guys which is like not too expensive but at the same time not so cheap but i really i really really feel like these ones totally worth the money you're paying guys because these are long lasting smudge proof transfer proof and they're like really really pigmented so i think this one worth every penny you're paying and also you can buy them on habana.com or you can buy them on any chamber outlet if you're looking for a really good matte liquid lipstick which is long lasting and pigmented enough go give them a try guys i'm pretty sure you're gonna love it i highly highly recommend these ones so yes um that wraps up our video guys i hope this review is helpful for you and uh, do let me know guys if you have tried any other shade from this range do let me know your experiences in the comments below and yes um if you like this review give this a video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye